Hey YouTube, my name is Natalie. I'm a criminal defense attorney and welcome to my channel. I'm wearing the same outfit as the last video. Maybe it'll be the last video. I don't know, but that's because I'm filming back to back. <laughs> so I'm bringing you guys some content this week. Okay, so um, this video is called Fake Cop Pulls Over Real Cop Doesn't End Well. <sighs> These fake police officers, man, scares the mess out of me. I really don't like it. It's very... Like, it's not funny, actually. It's actually very scary, people that impersonate police officers. Those are dangerous people. But anyway, let's go. Weirdo. Get a real job. police officer caught this guy with colored lights on his jeep getting behind people i bet you that he saw the cop behind him and so he took off and didn't actually pull them over so then the real officer is following the guy in the jeep and the he follows him and the guy in the jeep gets wise and then pulls behind the real officer and when the real officer pulls over he speeds away that's crazy behavior that's crazy like, that's just so crazy. Why would you do that? Recording. You know who started off doing this type of crap as a teenager? Jeremy DeWitt. He was also a teenager when he did that. This is a 19 year old. Sam Sergey Knuth. Or Nuth. But I'm gonna go with Knuth. I have an idea. Uh, I'm on my way home. I'm just turning this fucking strobe light on. He's got a siren. He hurts two cars and then blows past him, goes through a red, and then he's just using the. Oh, I get it. Oh, okay. So he's using it to pull over cars so he can pass them and go through red lights so that he can just like speed all he wants to. A light bar on top here with these sirens. Yeah, very close. Doesn't see that. Yeah. What's going on, man? I'm just driving home. I just got this thing off of Amazon. What thing? Okay. So, you know, criminal defense attorney 101, don't say anything. Nothing's going on, officer. How are you? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You are pulled over. You are detained. Uh, you should not say anything. Anything you say to the police will be used against you. You would think a police impersonator would know that, but they tend to tell on themselves, as we saw in the last video where I covered a police impersonator. Are you trying to pull people over? And he told the officer he got the lights and sirens from Amazon. Why can you buy that on Amazon? Like, I feel like that should only be sold at, like, specialized stores. Say that you have a construction company and you're doing road work and you need the lights that, you know, have a different color than the blue and red, but you need the lights for that purpose. That should go through a specialized company. You shouldn't be able to access that so easily so that guys like this cannot start impersonating police officers. No. Well, you followed him a pretty good distance. Yeah, I heard him all the way from 52. And you tried to curve too hard, but since you got constrained, you just like the siren, so you pull over and stop. You pull him next to him, and then you blow past him. Ah, see? He said he, I knew it. He said he had it because he works construction. Those amber lights, a lot of the times, people will have them because they work construction. But under no circumstances are you supposed to use them in order to pull people over because in an emergency or you know when taken suddenly with lights behind you a lot of people don't think to themselves are those lights amber or, or are they red you know they're just like a, someone's trying to stop me let me pull over you don't want to run afoul of the police or get charged with fleeing and eluding so people don't really think critically and that can be very very dangerous run up on the wrong person you could get shot 
353 or code for it. What'd you get off Amazon recently? A fire ant. Why? I've already wanted one. For what? So many incriminating statements. You got the siren off Amazon. Why? Because you've always wanted one. So incriminating. The PA system. To do what? Talking to it mostly. Kind of had a siren in it, and I didn't really know it had a siren. And I was fucking around with it. I did construction, landscaping. That's the light on the top. What's with the yellow and white button? I'm sorry. If you do, you said construction or landscaping. Those are two different things. If you're doing landscaping, if you're doing landscaping, then there's like no need whatsoever for you to have those lights. If you're doing road work construction, that's the only time you really need those lights when you're like on a highway and usually you have a permit in order to use those. So at least in my state anyway, I know every state's different. So, you know, don't come after me. Every state is different. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like you're making so many incriminating statements right now. You got that stuff for your own, you know, enjoyment. Um, and you definitely are trying to use it so that you can impersonate a police officer. That's Amber. Okay, That's so, construction. That's so are you doing place. construction right now? No. So why do you have it on? Because I saw him behind me and he had his hands on and he was following me, so I turned him on and I don't want to any weapons on you? No. Stand up for me. Turn out. <laughs> At least he doesn't have a uniform. <laughs> yeah, you work in lawn care, not construction. Those are not the same thing. Both equally great professions, but they're not the same and they don't have the same safety requirements. So get out of here. A hard live 19, isn't he? Looks a little old for 19. <laughs> Did you run it? Uh, should be the RO. Get a siren off? Yeah, so we were, uh, we were going down 52nd and I'm on my way home. Right. So we're going down 5 2, and then all of a sudden I see this white and yellow flashing light on top of the car. And I'm going along, and all of a sudden I notice this guy's like flying, and he's coming up behind cars and making them move over to the shoulder with the siren, and then they pull over and stop, and then does he, he would, stop behind them? Yeah, he would pause and stop, and then accelerate around them and take off with the the siren, and then he would race up behind the next car and make that one pull over and curve, and then same thing, he race around it. Okay. So then I'm trying to get up on the side of him to see if I can get a look at him. I wrote down his license plate. I turn my radio on, and as I get up next to him. He slows down, pulls behind me, turns the siren on, and I move into the lane next to him, and then he blows past me. Okay. So when he came up to a red light, I looked at him, and I'm like, pull over and stop, and then he takes off, and he ran two red lights. Okay. What red lights did he run? Uh... So you got impersonating a police officer, running through the red light, which are traffic citations, but not the impersonation. That's a criminal citation. That's a criminal charge. And then you also have fleeing and eluding a uniformed police officer um, in a, who is exercising their duty. So if this was in Maryland, you know, trying to pull over somebody, I'm sorry, if this is in Maryland, if the police are trying to pull you over and you take off in order to try to avoid them, that's a separate charge of fleeing and eluding. This one? So this one here for sure. And, Coming northbound or? Uh, so eastbound. And, and then into the northbound. Red, and then you made the left. And then uh, the other one that he ran was 104th and 52nd. Okay. I didn't mean to break his leg. He said, Knuff, <laughs> Knut, Noose, however you say your name. He denied attempting to pull anyone over and said he ran through the red lights because the brakes on his Jeep were bad and he was worried he wouldn't be able to stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> it's been a while since one of these YouTube videos has made me actually laugh out loud, but that was so good. Boy, if you don't stop lying. <laughs> I mean, just, that's a, that's just shut up. Don't say anything. Just be quiet. I mean, you know, you gotta look at it from our perspective, no, you know. I it's, you know, and then the other way to look at it too is if it's got shitty brakes, but you got the time and money to put light bars and whatever on it, oh, then no. you should put the money into the brakes. 
You got dumb dumb? I mean, unfortunately for you, you just happened to be, this guy happened to be right there going home from work. So. No, fortunately for the motorist who he attempted to pull over or did pull over, there was an officer who actually saw what he did because this is the type of behavior that can definitely escalate into something far more dangerous than what it looks like at the outset. I'm concerned too because there's a, uh, if you look in his back seat, he's got more LEDs that aren't installed yet. He's got like a full package back there. Does it look like it's red and blue or just? I can't tell because with our LEDs on, I mean, they could be any color. I can't tell what color. So the officer is able to see in plain view that he's got more packages of these lights. They probably don't have probable cause to do a full blown search because it's not illegal to possess the lights per se. It's illegal to use them as a police officer to try to confuse people. So I don't really think they have the right to go into the car to get it, but they'll probably get a warrant for the car to prove the case later on. But they're definitely saying that there is a concern that, you know, he's escalating. He Maybe he wants to use blue and red lights next time so he can try to really look like he's a police officer. It might say on them, but yeah, he's got a full siren and air horn rigged up on this thing. Okay. First hitting a police officer, at least, as you said, he tried to... He stopped behind them for several seconds and then sped off. Yeah, he would curb them. And then if he didn't get out and make contact with them, but he would curb them and then speed around them. Okay. This is just him trying to get out of having to wait behind people. He wants to speed on the road. Looks like it's a single lane and he wants to speed. But either way, you impersonate a police officer in order to do that. And it's creepy and it's weird. Don't do that, okay? It's weird. Nobody's going to like you when they find out that's what you're doing. You're not going to make any friends, okay? It's creepy. Two people, let me try to do it to you. Yeah. Okay. Trying to do it to the police officer was his biggest mistake. I was going to hit the interstate. I don't know why it's okay. What's with the red lights? Why are the red lights? This one, and then the one at 104th and 52nd oh, Street. I was like 200, 200 feet maybe before the red light. And Do you have your siren on when you were going through the red light? Uh, I don't know. I, I have my horn on, I think. What horn? A little like that horn. The air horn? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so impersonating a police officer. Get out of here, sir. <laughs> So it sounds like you tried to pull over three people. You did not just get it today. Stop lying. No, I no. That's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you got behind him, hit your light and your horn, put him to the curb, stop stop behind him for several seconds, and then sped around him. No, I didn't do that. That's not what I heard. No, I would never do that. <laughs> I would never do the thing that the officer just said that he saw me do. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? I just got the siren today. It For what purpose? It came from Amazon today. You just had a whole light bar that's not rigged up. I'm literally not trying out. to impersonate no one. Liar. You know when you're pulling people over with the light flashing, it is impersonating, right? I wasn't trying to impersonate no one, though. Like, I'm not in uniform. I don't have a uniform. I don't have any firearms. I, I, I really love you. Uh, oh, I almost missed the, the best part, I think. Hold on. With the light flashing, it is impersonating, right? I wasn't trying to impersonate no one, though. Like, I'm not in I don't have a uniform. I don't have any firearms. I, I, I really love you guys. I really honestly do. Yeah, we know. <laughs> you love them. You look up to them. You're not old enough to be a police officer yet, probably. Maybe you got into some trouble. And you can't get into the academy. So you said best thing is for me to just impersonate them. There's no other reason for you to have those lights. Not in your lawn care job. Uh, very unlikely. And even, given your age, whoever you work for, they would likely buy the lights and keep them and put them on their own truck. And then you would be working on the crew. So either way, you lying. So it's best to just stay quiet because the things that you say are not making any sense. And you cannot talk your way out of it. I'm not trying to impersonate no one. So what were you going to do with this other light bar that's in here? Um, that's the other thing. I was going to mount it. 
I just picked that up from my dad's house. It's from a raging lawnmower that I built for the high school. It used to go on the clover. It was, it's orange. Um, what about these lights up here? They could be construed as, they look like they could strobe and they're white. Um, those are white strobe lights. You understand where we're going with this, right? Right, I understand. Two sets of amber lights, one white strobe light, a uh, speaker, and a like siren honker thing. Yeah, it seems like you're trying to as close as you can get within, you know, without like stealing <laughs> actual lights and sirens from a police car. You're getting as close as you can to impersonating a police officer. Yeah, I, I really fucked up. I totally get it. I what what were you going to pull him over for? Just out of curiosity. I wasn't trying to pull anybody over. I just, I got it today. I so what were you to, following was, him for then? I was just driving. And I know... I, I Where were you headed to? Being a girl. I was just messing with the, with the other, the different sounds on the siren. Because I live in a residential area. And I thought... Like... I don't know. I should have... I don't know. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. I Look at that. Look at that. That's 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 the you know you messed up face right I there. Know. I didn't know where I, where I could really play with it. You, you understand? Okay, so not only is it, I didn't know where I could go to play with it. So you thought you play with it on the road, on the public roads, with unsuspecting people who you're probably frightening for no reason. Good job, buddy. Good job. Something that's. I'm just gonna straight out say. Are you it. smart? Right. You're not armed, right? No. What happens if you try? I'm just saying, I'm not accusing you of it. Why, I, has anyone patted him down for weapons? Because although I, I believe him that he's not armed, they should, if they haven't, and I haven't seen it happen, they should, because this is weird. Anything right now, okay? But what would happen if you try to pull the wrong person over who had a gun and who does not like police, and he gets out and starts shooting? Or forget he doesn't like police. He sees a guy in a bright orange or bright green shirt uh, pulling him over and is like, that's not a police officer. This guy's coming to kill me and shoots you because he's afraid of you. It's an overreaction maybe, but it could happen. Guess what? You have no way of defending yourself. Nevertheless, that this is a crime for you impersonating a police officer. You know that, right? I'm not trying to impersonate no one. Everything that is occurring right now yeah. is pointing that way. It's not smart. You know, he's like, I was just trying to have fun. You know, just trying to get people to pull over by impersonating a police officer, stupid. <laughs> All right. That's so. Well, and then kept going. Yeah. Is that about right? It's, yeah. It's, it's dumb. But I wasn't trying to be a cop. I like you guys. I really do. You guys are awesome. And you guys do good work. Even though I've been arrested. Uh-huh. I do it. <laughs> Nastradamus. I do it. I do it. You've gotten in trouble with the law before. You cannot become a police officer, but you still really like them and you want to be a police officer. But this type of behavior does have an escalating pattern, which can become very dangerous. You know, people impersonating police officers. So I am always concerned about people that do this because there is an escalating pattern that some of them have. I've never changed my view on you guys at all. Well, that's, that's fantastic. I was but... in the Racine County Sheriff's Explorer post as a kid. And he was in the Explorer program, so was Jeremy DeWitt. He wanted to be a police officer. Then, you know, he hit those teenage years, started acting stupid, got arrested. Probably can't anymore. It's gonna be really, really hard for him. So he thought the best way how it's to just impersonate a police officer to get the power and control. Um, I've always, I've always dreamt to be, I don't know. You've always wanted to be a cop? Yeah. Just didn't work out for you? No. It, it happens. Unfortunately, it some happens. people just doesn't work out. But tonight, you're trying to act like you're a cop a little bit. Right? A little bit. <laughs> right? not, you weren't you were like, hey, I'm going to go. If you admit to it a little bit under the eyes of the law, you've done it completely, right? There's no half-stepping in this type of thing. That's why you should just stay quiet. Officers will allow you to minimize it a little bit. But if you admit to the elements of the offense, you're in big trouble. Full blown here. We're no, going to pull no, someone I... over, get him out of the car. I'm, 
but a little part of you, right. right? You're like, I have a light on, I have a siren, they pulled over for me, it's like I'm a cop right now, right? And unfortunately, one of those cars is a police car. Stupid. Ah! <laughs> so you essentially pulled over somebody as a cop, but you're not a cop. Does that sound right? Y'all got it. Y'all don't need the full confession. You got everything you need. You have all the elements. And he admitted to knowingly doing these things. You don't need... <laughs> They're like, no, we're going to bring it home, okay? You were impersonating a police officer. Dude, just shut up. <laughs> I mean, we understand what you're saying, that you're not getting out, you're not hitting people, you're not right. doing all that, I, but you can't stop cars out here. I understand. You knew that already. Especially pull somebody over and they think you are a cop you're not ready for that are you somebody gets out of the car and comes after you you're not trained for that right you're not ready for that right and then what happens and then somebody that doesn't like the cops and they think you are a cop and they get out and they come back after you what do you think happens you're gonna arrest him maybe okay. they're gonna arrest him Aww. yeah that sucks, but yeah, it's what should happen. Cause it's dangerous. For all the reasons stated, it's dangerous. All right, don't say nothing else. Just be quiet now. You've already talked yourself into a world of hurt. See that brown chair. Step up, we'll go over there. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Okay, so let's see what happened to him. He was charged with impersonating a police officer, a misdemeanor, and cited for violation of red traffic light and unlawful siren or horn. Fair. He was given a $2,500 signature bond. However, he's being held in Kenosha County Jail on a probation hold. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. So he's on probation for something and doing this. So if you get charged with a new offense while you're on probation, that's a potential violation of probation. And while that new charge is pending, the probation judge can revoke, um, so, excuse me, the probation judge can issue a warrant for you to be held without bonds until the new case is adjudicated. Basically, they think that you're a flight risk because if you're on probation, even though it's a not a serious crime, you could go back for your backup time on the new charge, even if that charge is not serious. And so they think that you're less likely to appear. They want to hold on to you. Also, judges just get mad when they gave you the benefit and opportunity to be on probation and you mess it up by committing more crimes while on probation. So doesn't look too good for him being on probation and doing stuff like this. Shout out to Code Blue Cam for this video. Thank you very much. This was a very, very interesting one. Um, I would love to know what you guys think. You know, do you think that he should be held without bond by his probation judge until this new case is adjudicated? Should he be given a second chance? Do you think he was really impersonating a police officer? Tell me what you think about all of this. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much to our channel members who are listed here on the screen. If you're interested in becoming a member, please do not forget to click the join button. Also, don't forget to take off your shoes and like the video. And I'm listening because my braces hurt. Bye.